What's up guys, it's Caveman Mayang. Hope everyone's having a great day today. Uh, today I wanna bring you on a journey with me uh, to a customer's house. So uh, right now we're in my mining garage and the uh, reason why I wanna take you on a trip is my customer is having some issues uh, in his basement. He has a six card uh, rig that has experienced some crashes and some freezing. Um, I know he's got some uh, power issues at his house. So uh, there's a couple things we wanna take care of in, uh, in his location. One being that we're gonna install uh, the Wi-Fi power plug, uh, smart plug and I'm gonna show you guys which one I'm talking about because I actually have a couple of them in my mining garage. So it's gonna be one just like this. It's a BN Link Wi-Fi smart plug. So essentially we'll be able to power that rig on and off uh, remotely via a mobile app. Used them on my rigs in the past and as long as you've got a good, decent Wi-Fi connection, you're in good shape. So. That's number one, we're gonna install the plug. And number two is pretty much a known configuration setting on mining rigs that I will say is a must, is configuring the BIOS up to power state on when the rig or your house has experienced uh, loss of power and then you get the power coming back up. Uh, the rig will automatically turn itself back on via the power. I'm going to take you guys on a journey over there and uh, have a quick montage of uh, us driving over the location. So we will see you guys soon. Okay guys, we, uh, we're here. The uh, reason why, again, we're here is uh, his rig has been having some power issues, um, powering off, getting stuck, frozen. Uh, we seem to have been able to fix most of the issues uh, through HiveOS, um, getting the overclocks corrected. And uh, I'm actually just gonna turn this fan off for the moment because he is mining, but uh, it's rather loud. Um, but th the other reason why we're here today uh, as well is because of the issues with freezing and uh, he does have sometimes have uh, power issues at the house that uh, we want this rig to be able to kind of power back up on its own uh, if the power goes down and and uh, comes back up. So he has a six card rig. It is a hodgepodge uh, mix of cards, uh, AMD 6800s, 3090, 3080, 6700 XT, and then RTX uh, Quadro workstation 4000 card. Um, again, a pretty basic rig, two power supplies conjoined into, uh, I believe it's an ASRock, um, motherboard so yeah we're not going to spend too much time here today the couple of things that we are going to do is uh we're gonna stop the miner here in just a second and uh we're going to get into the bios of the machine and change the power states so we will do that in just a moment okay let's go in i have os here on my mobile phone It'll be a little blurry because the lighting is not the greatest down here. First things first is we're going to stop the miner. Get all the cards to just stop. Don't want to cold power it off because these, uh, as you've learned or heard, these cards can crack under heat. And uh, everything seems to be 
stopped here, exit on the miner, and let's go ahead and going to shut down for the moment. Okay, got to make sure we're hitting the delete button on the keyboard, and we've got BIOS. So we're going to uh, get into the power management settings here. So we're going to go into uh, advanced down to power management and there should be something called restore after power loss so right now uh, power off is selected so we're gonna go ahead and change that to power on I'm gonna exit out here let's save and exit save changes and reboot so now that we got through that, I'm going to, uh, we're going to go and check out the next activity that we came here for and is to install this BN Link smart plug. It uh, basically it's controlled via Wi-Fi and uh, we'll connect up to the app uh, and be able to uh, plug this up into that uh, electrical outlet up there. Uh, and get it connected up to the rig. So if this machine in the future has some freezing issues or somebody physically needs to be here to power it off, uh, we can actually just do that remotely over the app. So really cool feature. I will include a link in the description below for the BN Link um, smart uh, power plug outlet. And uh, we'll get that uh, plugged up here in just a second after I go ahead and take this mach machine gracefully down again. Now that the machine is down, we're going to do a little bit of a switcheroo here. So I'm going to go ahead, first things first, is get this um, smart plug outlet plugged up there. Before we plug it in, uh, what I'm going to do is configure this up to the app right now. So give me just a second here. I'm going to get my mobile phone out and get the app uh, going on here so it's got the app so we're gonna go to BN link just try to get a little focus there and uh, yeah what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this ready and uh, up here on the actual plug itself you see some blinking I'm gonna go ahead and get it to hold it in so it's blinking red and blue okay so that's basically the pairing mode and on my phone I've got on the top corner the plus button to add a device and uh, I found an issue with these to where it will try to automatically add the smart plug for whatever reason I don't know if it's a firmware thing or something with these plugs this doesn't work for me so I just choose don't add and what I do is I go to the socket uh, BLE um, item and basically just says, hey, you know, make sure you have a blinking um, indicator on the device. You see that, you hit next. And basically through Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, it finds a smart plug. Go ahead and hit um, start there. I'm just going to blank the screen out. It's asking for home Wi-Fi and password. I don't want to show that. So I'm just going to chug through that, hit next, and uh, it's adding the smart plug right now. So we'll just be patient. This may just take a moment as it needs to interface with the smart plug itself and uh, also the home network and router and you can see there I got a little notification from Alexa it's found it we hit next uh, cool so we have a smart plug there I'm just gonna leave it as a default name and we'll rename it later and you can see now I have three smart plugs um, those other two are at my other mining location and the smart plug 5 is this one so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the power button on my mobile device and you're gonna be able to see that color change in real time. So that's off and that's on. So for the moment I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to switch over the plugs up here to plug in the surge protector connected to the miner up in and because we have the power state loss on on the motherboard theoretically this powering it, powering it on right now should kick the rig on automatically. So let's count one, two, three. I'm going to push the button on the app. 
I hear some noise. I see some lights on the cards. Got some flashing indicators there itself, so that's good. Just take a walk over here and on a monitor. Let's see if we get Hive to boot up automatically. So, uh, one other thing that um, this rig setup has that I don't recommend is wireless for internet. It's got one of those Wi Fi dongles. It works okay, but. Um, we don't have an ethernet rundown here in the basement, so what we're thinking is eventually getting one of those power line adapters, uh, ethernet, plugging it up uh, here, having a receiver upstairs where the router is, and being able to kind of plug in uh, to this rig with the hard, hard line connection. So that's potentially next for the customer here, just because there's so many variables, again, with Wi-Fi and this machine having issues. Um, that we want to limit those problems. So Hive is booting up. I'm going to get in the app uh, here just to see the status on the cards. Okay. Get a little focus there. So yeah, we've got the mega hash going up. We'll go into the actual rig itself. Pull it up. Okay. We're just waiting on one card to to connect, but I think we're getting there. Just have to refresh sometimes with Hive OS. Okay, and our RTX 4000 card is going. We've got. Team Red Miner and T-Rex split on this rig, so we're pulling as of right now just about 422 and some change mega hash. So cool, yeah, for six cards, we've got that going up. Uh, I would say our job is done here, really, just simply doing those two items today is just installing the cool little BN Link Wi-Fi power plug and then changing the settings on the motherboard to limit issues with uh, with powering off and freezing and all of that uh, issues that uh, if, if no one's here to physically intervene with the machine that uh, we have kind of more of an automated process to handle some of that downtime. So I hope you guys found this quick video informative and hopefully you learned something. Again, uh, kind of new to the community and um, just really trying to share my journey with you guys and uh, I'm sure we'll have some other cool things to showcase along the way and uh, I'm going to go ahead and kick this fan back up to just add a little bit of uh, cooling juice and uh, we'll cut the video there so once again thanks for tuning in to Caveman Mining I hope you all have a great day and good, good rest of the week and uh, we'll see you next time